Hurricane Orlean is rapidly strengthening south of Mexico at this time. It's starting to clear out an eye and it could be a serious threat to Mexico. It's expected to reach major hurricane status very shortly. Here is your latest update brought to you by Force 13 this October 2nd, 2022 on this evening. Uh, if you are brand new to the channel, please do consider subscribing. And if you do want to see more content like this, there's no better way than to do that. Also, click the join button and select a category that you'd like to intensify to to get access to some exclusive perks and tell us how we can improve in the comments section down below but hurricane orlean with winds of 110 miles per hour it is a significant storm threat to mexico with hurricane warnings and watchers currently in effect for parts of the mexican coastline so here is a look at orlean on the forecast track map actually expecting a peak intensity of 120 miles per hour as per the national hurricane center's forecast uh, before weakening will start to kick in due to an increase in wind shear but currently orlean with winds of 110 miles an hour they have pressure of 967 millibars moving north northwest at eight miles an hour that is seven and knots at 9 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. This storm is a significant threat to the Mexican coastline where we could be seeing a landfall on Matsalan with winds of around 70 miles per hour in the next sort of uh, two to three days or so. And it could be bringing life-threatening conditions ashore, so make sure you do stay safe out there and begin your hurricane preparations because this storm is a strong one. It is a strengthening one and it's caught a lot of people off guard. And if it does put on a few more knots, it will definitely be a stronger storm upon landfall. Conditions won't be getting any better for Orlean However, strengthening is expected to really ramp up in pace as per the multimodal diagnostic comparison. Deep layer wind shear will be increasing from around 10 knots to around 30 knots in around 24 hours time. Sea surface temperatures are increasing, however, um, that's not going to do the storm any good considering it's all, all over some pretty good sea surface temperatures right now. And mid-level humidity will be dropping from about here on out. However, not dropping by too much as to destroy the storm, but there is a sad amount of dry hair up towards the northeast of this system. So that will cause the storm a big headache if it gets in the way of it. So here's a look at the National Hurricane Center forecast cone for Hurricane Orlean. You can also make out that area of interest just towards the southwest of it. Uh, that's got a 60% chance of development in the next five days. I reckon that that has a hot shot at becoming the next eastern Pacific tropical storm. But you can see the main feature, Orlean, that two major hurricane dots as it approaches the Mexican coastline. Hurricane warnings in effect for those uh, islands that the name escapes me just south of uh, Puerto Vallatra. Um, and a tropical storm warning in effect for uh, parts of the Mexican coastline. So here's a look at the GEFS uh, forecast ensembles. This is a very weird one. I don't think this is going to verify, but it sort of moves up into the uh, little Gulf area, the Gulf of California, heads up into that sort of area, and then sort of does a U-turn and maybe impacts the Baja California Peninsula. Most other models are calling for a direct landfall on Mexico, so I don't think that this is going to happen. However, it's an interesting take on Hurricane Orlean. Here's a look at the GFS model. You can see the GFS uh, strengthens the storm slightly more over the next 12 hours before uh, kind of rips it apart just before landfall and kind of slams it into Mexico as a bit of a slumpy sort of system, a low-end tropical storm at that. Uh, but yeah, dramatically weakens just before landfall due to that significant uptick in wind shear. That's certainly a verifiable uh, scenario and something that we're really hoping for because a weaker storm is definitely the best case scenario at this stage. But considering it has rapidly intensified, we'd be seeing a hurricane make landfall on Mexico. Hence, the hurricane warnings are in effect. So here's a look at the IR satellite imagery. Uh, it's a lot further east than what the National Hurricane Center forecast cone was depicting. Uh, it's going to skim the Mexican co uh, coastline around Puerto Vallatra. Uh, the storm is a strengthening one. It's got cloud tops around minus 80 degrees Celsius. It's got, uh, it's got a very nice eye, which is starting to be wrapped around by some pretty significant cloud tops as well. Um, and it is rounding itself out. It's definitely a pinhole eye with um, a diameter of around 16 miles, and it looks to be tightening itself up a little bit more as well. Here's a look at some of the IR satellite imagery, the visible uh, IR satellite imagery. You can see that eye really, really apparent right now. It is quite a beautiful storm, that's for sure. However, it is one that definitely means business. And as I said in the previous update, this is a storm that was going to catch a lot of people off guard because it was bound to rapidly strengthen. There wasn't any other way around it. It was definitely going to strengthen like we have seen now. And well, look at what has verified. So certainly a strong storm is threatening Mexico right now, and it is a scary situation. But don't be scared. Be prepared. Make sure you are completing your hurricane preparations over the next 24 hours. Batten down the hatches because it will be a hurricane upon landfall in many places and hurricane force winds are expected across much of the, uh, or some parts of the Mexican coastline. Not much of it, but 
definitely around much the land we could be seeing hurricane force conditions come ashore. You can see sea surface temperatures are only going to be getting better towards landfall. Uh, Mid-level humidity looking really good, but there is a stupid amount of dry air up towards the northwest of the system, as I said earlier. If that infiltrates it, boy, will this storm have a problem, that's for sure. That's the latest information that I have on Hurricane Orlean. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you did enjoy this video. Please do also consider leaving a like. Stay up to date with the National Hurricane Center as well. Very important that they um, are your first uh, go-to source of information, but we really hope that we are your second source of information here. There'll be more updates on Hurricane Orlean plus live coverage as well and tropical weather bulletins resumed uh, tonight and they will be continuing as we enter a more quiet phase in the tropics. But right now, Hurricane Orlean, the main feature around the world and definitely the main feature uh, that's concerning Mexico, that's for sure a significant storm is incoming. But that's all from us. I'll catch you on the next storm. Goodbye.